ahead on the side of Execration, but the safe lane on the side of Clutch Gamers is having a much better time for now, for now. The Meepo is also slowly starting to transition into jungle. He's moving back and forward for now, but eventually you can send a support here to the mid lane, leech a little bit of experience, and then just have the Meepo commit for the jungle. Bottom lane though, we do have the first spot on Hana as well. The Timbersaw run him, runs him down, pops a couple of those whirling lane deaths, and it's dangerous. If you don't get your skewers off, if you don't have it available, then the Timbersaw can just do that small move small move where you destroy him with the Walling Death. He does have raindrops on him now, so it will be much, much easier for him to survive those Walling Death. Once you have raindrops, it's it's not that painful. You know, you need to hide in the sitting position. He does have his Ravage available now. So in case of emergency, he can go forward. You don't want to use it too defensively, but he may have to fail upon Shadow Word. Let's get used on the Titan, but he should purge it off any time now. Any time now. There we go. Almost dying from it, but uh, just enough that he actually purchased it off, so he will be fine. The silence in the meantime in the mid lane gets killed by costly price. In the meantime, the Timbersaw tries to go in and defend this. He does move closer. The Warlock gets jumped on with that Timber chain. The PA is now going to be in position. The silence gets hit by the dagger, but PA is just, you know, going to keep himself safe. He doesn't have his Desolator just yet, Radiance and they do get the tower. Also, if it comes out, Sunshrag on top of it. Looks like the PA will survive, and the Invoker will secure the kill on the Timbersaw. And meanwhile, in the back lines, they found another kill on the silence of chasing further and further with that slot as well as the Magnus. The Titan has now come back for round two as well. That is a full on team wipe. Eternity, and now the Titan gets skewered back, gets control. A big crit to the face. He will be able to use his Ravage, but again, it's a defensive Ravage. It doesn't do nearly enough. Will not be able to save you. Will not be able to win your team fight. Get his crush off, but he doesn't die, and they get another tower for themselves. They'll go for five minutes smoke plants out of clutch gamers. They're just faking back. They go for a jump, they go for the Meepo, and the Meepo will be killed, thinking that they would back themselves up and go for the T2 down the bottom lane, but no. Clutch gamers, they won the kill. Very nice move there. Now they find the Timbersaw as well, moving into the middle of them, and he will be in trouble. Meteor comes out, Blast comes out, Skewer comes out from the Magnus, and the Timbersaw will drop down as well. Maybe not the best play to go in, going into the full five man squad of Clutch gamers. And now, Execration with two calls down, none of them having buybacks. The Meepo actually buying out. Oh, he does have buyback. It was kind of flickering for a second, but. I guess he does have buyback, Titan gets jumped, and well, one crit to the face makes it kind of difficult for the Kraken Shield to do its work if you get killed instantly. Same thing for the Silencer, another crit, another kill, Timbersaw gets RP, gets skewered, and he will be killed again, just respawn, that is, all of those value charges in the bloodstone completely gone, as Clutch Gamers, they're giving no break to the side of Execration, just feels like Execration is not ever going to be able to take a fight. They lose the racks in the mid lane. Yes, you are 20,000 gold behind. It is not going to get any easier as the game goes on. So they need to find a jump now. And oh, speaking about a jump, the Meepo gets killed. He had a couple of Meepos in the top lane trying to find a little bit of farm. But that just does not work out. All right, Invoke in the bottom lane. He's going to be the target. Let's see the Invoke. Does he get jumped on? He gets lifted up into the air. They do have the stolen RP, actually. Okay. Under I didn't see they stole RP on the Rubik, but apparently he got an RP off, and uh, well, that's a good kill. Invoke at that, Eight, 800 gold to the Timber Soul, that's not bad. <coughs> Alright, the Timber Soul on the top lane gets jumped, oh my god. It's just oh, dirty at this point. Dead. I mean, oh, if you don't have full reactive armor stacks, it's just way too easy for them to kill you. The Slaughter's negative armor, the PA with that Tesla, he has his Manta start completely. He's in trouble, he's taking a lot of damage here. He needs to be careful, he will Manta dodge, he will back himself up, bling himself back. The Timbers on the meantime will be the focus. Crash comes out, Meteor combo on the Meepo with the RP coming out. The Rubik tries to go for a big steal, gets the Fatal Bonds in the end of time, it gets yield up in the air, Sunshrek comes out, the Slaughter will secure the kill on the Titan, and the Timbersaw buys back. Alright, they fought back on Gabby's Meepo, Gabby died again a second time as the PA went in, got a crit off, the PA will finally be taken. The Silencer was great, it uh, it was it was fine, you know, you have Global Silence against the teamfight power of Clutch Gamers, but I just feel like the Meepo pick into Warlock plus Magnus already does not work out, and 
they didn't really show that it was going to be any different. They didn't manage to get a lot of farm on the Meepo before the Clutch Gamers Choo Choo train began running and they just ran from lane to lane, got kills after kills after kills. They contested Roshan, got a 5-man team wipe off and well secured Roshan for themselves. So when that happens...